these, okay? Full transparency on this channel. And uh, yeah, a lot of people have been asking about it and they look mighty, mighty nice together. All right, yeah, you can run it as a hybrid. I got a uh, District 5 uh, one tip on top. A really, really nice tip. And uh, yeah, I got a Sanyo 2700A inside. So what we're going to do in this review, guys, we're going to dive down. I'm going to show you the Culverin RDA and the Admiral. I'm really going to be going over the RDA mostly. I have gone over the Admiral, but I will show you this one. It's just basically aluminum with silver plated contacts. That is the difference between this one and the uh, brass and the white brass and the copper. I'll show you what it comes with. Uh, put a build on the Culverin RDA. Uh, come back up top. Uh, pros and cons, final thoughts. If a mugger stole my book bag and I was on the train and these were in it, would I personally go out and buy them again? I'll let you know how much they are, where you can find them, and we'll get out of here like usual, as you guys know. <clears throat> a little under the weather today. So if my throat, if my voice sounds a little off, it, well, I got a sore throat. So. so this is the package that the Culverin IDA will come in. I do have uh, the Admiral um, aluminum version as well. It says Thirsty at top, Culverin by BJ Box Mods. Comes with some Z coils. Okay, you pop the top. You're going to get some stuff under the top. You get your Culverin IDA. You get a black Allen key. You get some cotton, Thirsty cotton. Never heard of it. You get some Z coils. Wrap your own. Looks like a fuse clapton. And you'll get some O-rings. You'll get two additional uh, Allen key grub screws. And you will also get a silver plated pin that we will put inside of it. The Culverin IDA you guys have been waiting on by BJ Box Mods. It says broadside number 92. It does have a gold plated uh, protruding pin. You can use it on a hybrid. It's made for that. Good threads. It's got the logo up top. It does say Culverin on the bottom. So you can pull that top off. Comes in a, a bunch of different colors like brass, white brass, copper, and shadow. This is the black. And it does come with this uh, drip tip. And it is flat. So you can use uh, goon tips. I could put a one drip tip on there. As you can see, District 5 new drip tips. I think it looks better with a goon tip versus that. I don't really like this drip tip. That's a half moon mods drip tip. Adjust the airflow, put it on your mod, and basically just turn this. And you can adjust the airflow. Whatever you do to that side, it will do it to the other side. This piece also comes off the deck, this ring here. It's really, really thick. All right, so what you could do, you can take that off, run it as a hybrid on this one. This has a 510. So if you take that off, and you take this off, can run it as a hybrid and that's pretty clean on the Admiral that's how we're gonna run it today but here's the deck two o-rings it's two post deck copper stainless steel those are the post holes you got the Allen key all right let's get a closer look so here's the deck Pretty nice. Now I'm gonna take out, now we got the silver contact. We're using James Mucklins. N90, 0.12 dual coil, great for Max.
So we're back from the close-up on the Culverin IDA in the Admiral Mech Mod aluminum version. Uh, what are we going to tell you about these ones? Well, let's go over the Culverin RDA mostly. Nice airflow on it. Um, not a lot of airflow, but it's nice and smooth. And it's got a perfect draw, in my opinion. A good middle of the ground between flavor and cloudage. You know? I think some people might think that it's not enough airflow for them. If you like a really airy draw, this definitely might not be the RDA for you. But I like how they went about it. It's middle of the road airflow. It looks like there's not a lot of airflow to it. But it's, it's pretty big. It's like 3 millimeters you know, tall by about five millimeters wide. It's, it's got some good airflow. Uh, you can run it as a hybrid on the Admiral. And that's how I have it. It's 25 millimeters in diameter and you can run it as it's made to be run with the Admiral or you can run it via on any other RDA and it gives you those additional pieces that I showed you down low. Now it's a two post RDA with teardrop style 3.5 millimeter post holes. One post is copper, the other post is a stainless steel deck. Now, I, as I showed you down low, I took out the gold-plated pin and I put in the solid .997 uh, solid silver positive pin. I put that in it and I got to tell you, that's the way I like it, man. I got silver-plated contacts and then I got a .997 solid silver positive pin on the Culverin RDA. Very easy to build on. Um, I'm still not a huge fan of two post RDAs. It's not like my favorite style RDA, a two post. But I do like how they did it. It's very easy uh, to build and I like how it's tear dropped. So it's going to fall and it's going to get stuck inside the file. It's going to fit very nicely because it's tear dropped down. So depending on how wide your leads are, you know, round wire, uh, aliens, fuse claptons, you know, your crazy builds, you're going to be able to fit it in there and it's going to be able to get the best contact because of that angled teardrop at the bottom of the post hole. Going to mention that as a big pro. You can get a bunch of different colors for it. All the options, if you have the Admiral already, you can run it on your Admiral via hybrid mode with any color that you have. I'm gonna mention that as a big pro. Now the drip tip provided, obviously as you can tell, I'm not running it on there. I don't really like the drip tip. It's kind of like this, it's comfortable, but it's just a little bit too small. I'm used to my 810 drip tips and it definitely uses 810 drip tips. So I'm gonna mention that as a big friggin' pro, as you guys know. Very conductive. Uh, I love how you can just, you know, take off the bottom ring, thread it onto your Admiral, and it's via, it looks just all nice and clean, one piece. I think it looks clean. The flavor on this is up there. It's got some really, really nice flavor. The Admiral uh, aluminum, you know, the funny thing is, I don't think I did a voltage drop test on it but man this thing hits just as good as the brass version i don't really notice too much of a difference between the aluminum and the brass it's got silver plated contacts um there's probably a little bit of a voltage drop difference between if you have white brass brass or if you get the aluminum but i like the aluminum first of all it's nice and black that's number one uh number two uh it's got the serial number on the bottom in silver and then it says admiral on the bottom there nice and clean uh, juice will definitely show up if you over drip it's not the deepest juice well in the Culverin RDA it's just it's not the deepest but I paint all my coils on this one and I'm very vigilant on how I'm dripping on it and I haven't really got it to leak that much because I'm being vigilant you know uh, but it's not the deepest juice well it's not really made to you know blah, 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 fill it up completely you don't have to worry about adjusting like the regular top cap of the Admiral, you know, adjusting that piece. You don't have to worry about it with this one. That's another big pro I need to mention as well. If you chain vape this, it can get a little bit warm because it's aluminum. The heat isn't going to dissipate as quickly on this one as, let's say, the brass or the white brass or the copper, etc. The copper is probably going to hit the hottest. If you already have the Admiral, you can definitely pick this one up in any color. and It will be hybrid compatible. That's a pro. Um, I like the IDA, man. It's got a nice conical design inside the top cap. Good O-rings. O-ring tolerances are money. 
but if you want to rip it off, you can definitely rip it off. Uh, no problem. Love the O-ring tolerances on it. Love the O-ring for the drip tip. Uh, wish it came with a different drip tip, to be honest, but that's objective. Uh, yeah, man, this thing's nice, dude. You can change the, the button uh, colors to the button if you want. The flavor's up there on this, Calvarin, man. Uh, very surprised at the flavor I get off of it. I wouldn't say it's not like Dead Rabbit or Drop, but it's probably about an eight and a half. It's close. It's right below there. Very surprised at the flavor. I didn't think it was going to have good flavor at all, but it does have good flavor. I've been using this for probably, I'd say almost a month now. Yeah, I've been using it for almost a month. Uh, for Mugga stole my book bag and I was on the train and these were in it, I would definitely go out and buy them, hands down. Well, I'm going to put bjboxmods.com, link on screen and description. Uh, that's who I bought it from and uh, that's where you can find it. It's $70 for the IDA, okay, and it's $150 for the mechanical. So the whole setup is probably about, what, $225, something like that. That's not bad for an IDA and a mechanical that run together, that are made to be put together. That's not bad. I, I got to be honest. That, that's a pretty good price point. No, nah, they're all the same price, which is pretty cool, $70. Bucks. TGS Vapes might still have some Calvarin IDAs as well. I'll put that link in the description as well for you guys. Use code Derek10. For 10% off with free shipping if TGS Vapes still has it in stock. So that's a pretty good deal as well. I don't get any commission off that. FYI, that's just him being nice, giving me a coupon code to give to you guys. I don't make any money off that, all right? Um, Premium Vape Supply has it for $69.95. Uh, PJVapes.com has it for $70. Uh, some other websites have it for more. I wouldn't buy it from them. Obviously, it's more money. Uh, VV Vapes has it uh, for seventy dollars as well. If you want to pick it up from uh, Matty Ice or Convicted Vapes or VV Vapes over there, he works there. So what up? Uh, you can definitely buy it from them as well. I'll put that link in the description. That's what I got for you today, squad. Hope you found the video helpful, informative. Hopefully you got some info out of it, had fun with the build, enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you have any additional questions or concerns regarding the Culverin or the Admiral or anything else for that matter. Content daily, 1080p, 60 frames. Don't waste your bandwidth not being subscribed to the channel. Stay juiced up. Hashtag no filter. I'll catch you guys soon.